Uh, hello, Hudson and Bauer. Hi, Mac and Joe. Steve? How are you? It's me, Steve, Mac and Joe. Steve Garvey. Yeah. I'm so glad you got back, Steve. Boy, so am I, Mac and Joe. That was a close one. Whoa. Listen, uh, have you checked yourself over this morning, Steve? You don't have yeah. any bruises or no, busted I'm, lip or anything, huh? I'm looking pretty good, Mac and Joe. And some of the guys are, we just started practice already today. Getting oh, ready yeah? for tomorrow night's game. Some of the guys are practicing right here. In the yeah, I can, uh... I can hear them. That doesn't sound much like a yeah. baseball practice, though, Steve. Sure, that's what it is, Mac and Joe. Is that Did it? you watch yesterday? Well, you had some brawls uh, during the game, uh, Steve. Oh, it was awful, Mac and Joe. Hey, quiet down, fellow ball players. There, that's better, <laughs> Mac and Joe. I tell you, it was real interesting yesterday, Mac and Joe, because I was doing the judging. Judging? Chubb Feeney has put me in charge. I'm one of the official judges, Mac and Joe. And <laughs> no kidding. our good friend the Goose got a 9.95. Did he? Mm -hmm. Wow. Very good. But Lefferts did a 9.98. Uh-huh. Yeah, he we finally had... got uh, got Pasquale. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Poor Mr. Whitson only received a 9.93 in the early judging. <laughs> no but kidding. how were we to know things were going to get better, Mac and Joe? <laughs> I see. <laughs> and Pascual Perez, of course, was a perfect 10. No kidding. Well, they always said he's a perfect one, Mac and Joe. <laughs> yes. He's uh... also a complete and a flaming. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> he got all the awards yesterday, no Mac and Joe. That's as good as the gold, isn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. But let me tell you something, Mac and Joe, my very good friends. What's that, Steve? And all of baseball people out there listening today. Yes, uh huh. Such hooliganism has no place on the field of modern baseball. Of course not, Steve. It belongs in the locker room, Mac and Joe. <laughs> it does. <laughs> yes, where young athletes can vent their frustrations by breaking up various porcelain fixtures and lockers and chairs and concrete walls and tables and baseball equipment, mirrors, and the list goes on and on, Mac and uh -huh, Joe. Uh huh. Yeah, but you don't want to do that in public, where where young children can see. I guess not, Mac and Joe. Yes. It can be a Embarrassing. There's nothing worse than being, oh, my age uh -huh. and older, laying yes. on your back, soiling your uniform, uh -huh. having people standing over you, shouting things that I wouldn't want to repeat. Mac and Joe, my ears were burning. <laughs> were they? <laughs> Even my bat, when it came along, didn't live, didn't say stuff like that to me. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. I was, I couldn't believe it. Uh huh. I even saw Mr. McSherry, the umpire. I said, Mr. McSherry. He said some things, too, huh? Yeah, I said, what did you say? And <laughs> yes. he repeated them. Oh, said, no, he didn't. My word, I said uh -huh. to him and a few other people that were on there. And Mr. Yes. McSherry, he fell down. Of course, it was hard to tell. <laughs> yes, <laughs> whether he fell down or was pushed. Yes, huh? well, and, and when he is down, because mm -hmm. he's so tall, laying down as, as well as he is standing up, <laughs> yes. Mac and Joe, he falls forward. He's only got about maybe... Oh, foot to fall. Uh huh. Boing, he kept bouncing back up again. Is that right? It was, that was what kind of the fun part, Mac and Joe. <laughs> was it? Yeah. Well, I'm glad there was a fun part sure. for you, Steve. Hey, wish I could talk longer, but I've got to go to the Ready Care Center and pick up the uniforms that my teammates left there yesterday. <laughs> At the Ready Care Get Center? Clean. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, well. Toodles. Nice talking with you.